Have you ever wanted to spy on the people around you using just a beam of light? Well, with this old but nifty trick, I have just the solution for you. This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by HostGator. Before we go into spying, we first need to figure out why the audio-driven laser apparatus actually works. So, let's give it a shot. Get a laser pointer, a solar panel, some mono audio jacks, a battery holder, and some wires. You can get them all at your electronics store and fairly cheap. And if you want to go even cheaper, get a $1.50 laser pointer at your local drugstore. For some bizarre reason, they actually sell them at the front counter. Okay, first I'm going to take my green laser pointer apart here. Now I'm using a green one just because I have one laying around and it's awesome. It's going to give me a nice bright light for the camera. So let's take a look inside. You see that little spring in there? First thing we need to do is hook a wire right up to it. Then take a second wire and hook it up to the base of the laser. We're going to build a very basic circuit that's going to help drive audio through the laser itself. Now first thing we need to do is hook up the prong from the laser up to the negative port on our battery holder. That's the start of our circuit. Now we need to move on and hook the positive end up to the small prong on our audio input jack. We're also going to take a second wire and hook it up to the long prong. Here, take a look. Basically, we're going to drive power through to this so that we can add sound through the laser itself. How amazing. Okay, finalize the circuit to the battery holder and we're ready to give this a test once we plug it into an MP3 player. I'll use my iPhone and load up a song and as soon as I do that, the laser will turn right on. Now one cool thing you might notice once you've got the music pumping is that if you point the laser at a surface, you'll see that it's gyrating. When we add an audio source to a laser circuit, basically what's going to happen is the laser itself is going to output a sound wave that we can capture with the receiver. We'll make that in just a second. Okay, now we need a way to receive the audio from the laser itself. We can do this very simply. All we need is this solar panel here, a couple wires, Go ahead and hook those up any way that you deem fit. When you're done with that, hook them straight up to the mono jack. And as I said earlier, you can get all of this at your electronic store for just a few bucks. Okay, we've got that ready. Now let's plug it into some speakers I have. You will notice a hum. That is the light source hitting the solar panel and causing an electrical interference. Now if I hit play on my iPod and then point the laser right at the solar panel, we start getting some sound. Yeah, it's really not that clear. Let's kill the light. Little bit better. You know, wheezing out the interference just a bit but still not that great. However, if we were trying to spy on someone, we might be able to make out what they're saying if we listen long enough. Oh right, and if you ever had aspirations to be a DJ, well here's a new method. Try laser DJing. You can scratch just like the pros. And finally, the fun part, spying or eavesdropping, whatever you want to call it. Remember that little apparatus we made earlier with the laser? Well, disassemble it. We actually don't need it anymore. All I wanted to do is show you that you could actually stream music over a laser beam, but we don't need that. So take your laser, hook it back up. Cool. I'm going to mount my solar panel right by my window and point it towards some other's windows. Then I'm going to hook it into my iPod so I can record it and then aim the laser at some windows right here. Basically, the reverberations from the speech inside will reflect through the laser itself, they'll be captured in the receiver, and then we can hear whatever they're saying inside their rooms. Kind of creepy. Let's see what we get. 
just keep in mind we need to bounce the laser off the window and back into our receiver or no audio will be found. And just one more busted chump. I want to thank our sponsor this week, HostGator. I've been using HostGator for years now, and they can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. They've got plans that start at $4.95 a month, and you get 24-7 support, plus access to the website building tools that have over 4 thousand templates. They'll even migrate your current site for free. On top of that, they've got unlimited disk space and bandwidth. You even get a 45 day money back guarantee. If you want to give it a shot, HostGator is giving 25% off your order for Scientific Tuesdays viewers, or you can get your first month free. Go to HostGator.com, enter the code SCI2'sREV3, and you're all set. Mm -hmm.